I think I can. I'm gonna do everything that it takes to win this competition. This is, this is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. He first expressed that confidence when he auditioned in Los Angeles. And then there will be 10, and then there will be five, and then there will be three, and then there will be one. Some people may say overconfident. I think actually if I was in the position to take on Dan's job, yeah, I think I'd be able to handle it no problem. I think he's cocky as hell. I mean, it drives me nuts. I hate that kind of attitude. You know, on stage, sometimes that attitude is great, but you know, not, not in the classroom. He didn't come off cocky one bit to me. And back, forward. Back, <laughs> forward. That's okay. Try it again. Did he look good doing a foxtrot? Hmm. Not really. Oh, you're opening your legs up. Okay. We got trouble. Ryan. Holy moly. <laughs> Whether he was kissing my ass or not, he made me like him. And some were very enthusiastic. He's, he's really special, and he's highly trained, and he has his own voice, and he's just really, he's amazing, really great. Hello. Blake, you're a professional dancer, right? You've worked professionally on quite a few jobs. Yes. So one thing you know about the dance business is that it is a small, small world. You know that, right? Yes. And when you talk about people and you say things about people, it always gets back to them. Always. Did you know we were going to be reviewing the tapes from the show? Dan thinks that I was cocky in class and really it's just confidence and you know on one hand I probably think that he's probably just a little bit jealous because to me he's not very he's not that good do you know that I've heard everything that you've said about me and I hear about how much you badmouth me how smart is that not very I'm smart. a judge on the show I mean how smart is that does that make any sense Blake I know that I, when I found this out, I was like, what did he do? That is the dumbest thing you could have done. It was just, it wasn't smart. And I hope that you never did that to me. Because if you did, I would never have hired you. And you just have to know how bad that looks to a choreographer and to other choreographers if you do start to get the reputation for bad-mouthing them behind their backs, then they won't want to hire you. I haven't hired dancers because of what other choreographers have told me about them and said, you know what, that's a nightmare. You do not want to work with them. And so you don't want to take that risk sometimes. Um, Blake, yeah. what I want you to know is anything that I said, I said directly to you. I didn't say anything different on camera or off camera that I didn't say to your face. And anything I was saying to you was strictly constructive criticism. I'm just trying to help you. That's all. I think you are a great dancer. You really are, but like they said, attitude goes much further than danceability. It really, really does. If you were me, what would you do? Um, I understand the, uh, how you're feeling, and again, I let my anger get the best of me sometimes, and I'm not always saying the smartest things, and I agree that I was very dumb and stupid, and, and that was bad on my part, definitely, so I have to apologize and say that I'm sorry. You're going to get another shot. You're going through to the top 16, OK? And you're getting there on danceability. It's danceability, because you're great. But just keep everything else in check. Thank okay. you, guys. Thank you. OK. The tension could still be felt as Blake leaves. But it would soon be broken as he entered the winner's room. <laughs> After the break.